Oh, hi. I'm sorry. You caught me in the middle of combing my beard. Enjoying my coffee this morning. It is being drank out of my Universal Studios Hollywood mug, which is my favorite theme park in the world, I believe. I love that place. My trinket of the day is a Beanie Baby, and the Beanie Baby is uh, named Holmes. Yes, there is a Beanie Baby named Holmes, and I own it. Here he is. Let's get to reading. A lot of these are on writing, which is interesting. Writing is easy. All you do is stare at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Gene Fowler, 216. 217. Saul Bellow. With a novelist like a surgeon, you have to get a feeling that you've fallen into good hands. Someone from whom you can accept the anesthetic with confidence. 218. Guy Davenport. It sounds like a movie star or a porn star. Sometimes when reading Gaith, I have a paralyzing suspicion that he is trying to be funny. 219. Diane Johnson. The novelist, afraid his ideas may be foolish, slyly puts them in the mouth of some other fool and reserves the right to disavow them. <laughs> 220. Abe Lincoln. He can compress the most words into the smallest idea of any man I have ever met. I wonder who that was. Was that a, was that a uh, jab at Douglas? 221. William Faulkner. If a writer has to do his, has, I'm sorry. If a writer has to rob his mother, he will not hesitate. The ode on a, the ode on a Grecian urn is worth any number of old ladies. Watch out, old ladies. These writers are coming for you. 222. In literature, as in love, we are astonished at what is chosen by others. Andre Moreau. Uh, 223 is incredibly long, and honestly, I can't imagine it being worth the time, so I am going to skip over to 224. Grace Metallius. I'm a lousy writer. A hell of a lot of people have got lousy taste. <laughs> Here's one here, and it doesn't have to do with writing. It has to do with smoking. King James, not LeBron, the actual King James who, uh, who translated our Bible, uh, stated, A custom loathsome to the eye, hateful to the nose, harmful to the brain, dangerous to the lungs, and in the black stinking fumes thereof, Nearest resembles the horrible Stygian smoke of the pit that is bottomless. Wow. I guess he didn't smoke. I agree with the guy, actually. I just don't know if I'd put it in those exact words, but it's kind of sick. 226. A.J. Liebling. I can write better than anybody who can write faster, and I can write faster than anybody who can write better. 227. I used to be treated like an idiot. Now I'm treated like an idiot savant. <laughs> Martin Cruz Smith, after his novel Gorky Park, became a bestseller. I never read the book, but the movie was great with William Hurt. If you ever want to see it, it's a nice, uh, kind of a Cold War detective story. 228. Income tax returns are the worst imaginative fiction being written today. <laughs> Ah, 229. Marry money. Marry money. Max Shulman's advice to aspiring authors. <laughs> 230. What is a writer but a schmuck with an Underwood? Jack Warner. Interesting. Um, that's it for the writers. I want to tell you one of my favorite quotes. Probably my favorite. One of my favorite movie quotes of all time is Gene Hackman playing Harry Zim in, um, in Get Shorty. Uh, his character said, I once, I once asked a writer what writing paid best. 
ransom notes. I kind of butchered it, but anyway, you get it. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And if you get bored today, there's always these videos. So you can go back, go back, and watch every single one. And when you get done with those, if you're still bored, start over. Keep going, okay? Love you all. Catch you tomorrow.